Okay guys, Parik is 25 years old and planning for his pension. He intends to retire in 40 years time uh, when he's 65. Once again, information we're not going to use apart from maybe the 40 years time. First he calculates how much he wants to have his pension fund when he retires. Then he calculates how much he needs to invest in order to achieve this. He assumes that in the long run money can be invested in an inflated adjusted, adjusted annual rate of 3%. Her answers throughout this question should therefore be based on a 3% annual growth rate. Okay, so what you're going to have to do here guys is you're going to uh, write down the present value of a future payment of 20,000 euro. This whole point of 3% means that it grows 3% in one year's time. So F equals P over 1 plus I to the power of T. Therefore F or your present value equals f divided by 1 plus i all over t. In this question, 20,000 is your final amount. This occurs in one year's time with a growth rate of 3%. You put that into the calculator, you find out it's worth 19,417.48. Next one, write down in terms of t the present value of a future payment of 20,000 euro in t years time. Once again, p equals f, which is going to be over 1.03, because that's what 1 plus i is, to the power of t. Now, in this case, it's once again, it's going to be 20,000 euro. So you put 20,000 in over here, and that is your future value after any amount of years you want. Yes, Simon? The question I've got says in terms of t, like I always thought that then the point T equals something. Yeah. Oh no no no, in terms of T, if I, if I said find P in terms of T, or find Y in terms of X, Y is on the left and the full equation is in terms of one letter. So there's only one letter in this equation, that's what in terms of T means. Make T the subject of the formula, or find the value of T, is getting T on its own. Okay. Okay? Now, what we have next guys is, uh, Park wants to have a fund that could, from the date of retirement, give him a payment of €20,000 at the start of each year for 25 years. Show how to use the sum of a geometric series to calculate the value on the date of retirement. Well, a good way getting points on the board would be to look up exactly what is the sum of a geometric series. Okay? So, sum of a geometric series, we can get points on the board straight away by using uh, the S of N formula. So, S of N formula equals A into 1 minus Rn all over 1 minus R. Now, date of retirement given payment, start of each year. So, if you imagine on a timeline, you're retired right now, okay? In one year's time, you receive 20,000 euro. But, also said at the start of each year, so from the very first year you retire, you're going to get 20,000 euro at the start of that year, straight away. Okay, so 20,000 euro straight away. All right, and that's just going to keep going on and on forever uh, for the next uh, how many years? 40. 25 years. Yeah. It says in question 25 years. Okay. <laughs> now, the way to work this out is your final amount or your total payment is you're given 20,000 euro the very first day when you retire. That 20,000 euro has no time to appreciate, has no time to get to become more expensive. So 20,000 euro on the day you retire is still worth 20,000 euro. However, the ones before that, uh, start of each year for 25 years, right? So we have to calculate what happens when it devalues, okay? So an example, if I receive 20,000 euro in one year's time, it's devalued by uh, the one over one over 1.0, three. We're gonna call that B. So it's gonna be 20,000 B, all right, and B devalues it. Then the year after that, 20,000 B squared. B squared, and then all the way up. Now, your very last one is gonna be B to the power 24. Can anybody tell me why it's B24 and not B25? So you're receiving this at the start of the 25th year, which means it hasn't got the 25th year itself to accumulate price. Okay? Now that you've settled with this, you know that uh, 
you know that uh, B equals 1 over 1 1.03 and you know that A is going to equal uh, 20,000 do you need me to do the calculator on this or just the numbers? Just the numbers, okay? So SN will equal A, which is 20 thousandths, multiply by 1 minus B to the power of, what is N? There's 25 numbers in the sequence. Because B1, 2, all the way to 24 is 24 numbers. The one that has no B in it has, uh, is the 25th one. So it's going to be b to the power of 25, and then it's going to be all over 1 minus b. You put that into your calculator, and one second what you get is 358,710.84. Yes, Sean? Um, in the solutions. Uh, so that brings on to the next part of the, the question. Okay. Tarek uh, invests a fixed amount of money every month to generate this fund. Shh. Correct. To four snippet figures, the rate of interest per month that if paid and compounded monthly would be the equivalent of a annual rate of 3%. What this means is that if I say that uh, 1 plus i to the power of 12 should be the same thing as getting 3% extra on 100%. This 1 plus i to the power of 12 equals 1.03. Now, uh, so what we get here guys is 1 plus i uh, equals 1.03 to the power of 1 over 12 or the 12th root of 1.03, whichever way you look at it, okay? So 1 plus i therefore equals uh, 1.002466 now bring over the 1 and take it away I therefore equals uh, 0.002466 now guys please remember that it's also down to uh, has hundreds as well doesn't it so this is this is hundreds this 0 if that was a 1 it would be 1% well, it's not even a percent per month. So it's going to be 0.2466% interest. Okay? And that's for significant figures. Write down in terms of N and P the value of the retirement date of P made N months in advance before the retirement date. If I were retiring here, the longer my payment that I make first has the most time to accumulate value. So therefore, my final value is equal to 1 plus i to the power of how many months it's in there for. Okay? So it's going to be p by 1 plus i power of m, how many months it's in there for. So f therefore is going to be equal to p, and it's going to be this figure here, isn't it? The one point. The 1.02466 uh, to the power of n, or in our language, PBN. Okay? Because we're using B. Right? Now, in this question for us, B is going to be the 12th root of 1.03. Are we happy with that? Now, go and do next then. is uh, there we go there now he wants to make 480 equi monthly payments now the question I asked is it doesn't this question is poorly written because it doesn't state whether it's done at the start or the end okay so if this was in the leaving start, uh, leaving start exam it's a specify end of month or start of month we're going to base our answer off start of the month. Is that right? So it won't happen in your leaving. Okay? Now, the only time that could happen would be with like a amortized uh, a loan. So, an example would be if it happened with a loan. So, if I said here, I want a loan of 20,000 euro. Sorry, I want a loan of 20,000 euro over, uh, I don't know, five years. The payment isn't going to be at the start of the month. Why is it not going to be at the start of the month? Imagine I go, all right, give me a, here's a loan. 
oh give me some money back immediately that's not the way it works it's like in a week's time or a month's time so if it's if it's a, if it's a loan question and they don't specify start or end of month assume it's end okay but this is not the case here now b equals the cube root or sorry the 12th root of 1.03 okay now let's see what happens this time around okay so what's going to happen is your final amount ends up to be pb why is it pb because your very last payment do you understand your very last payment is going to be made at the start of december and it has one month to accumulate value because you're investing at the start of each month the second last payment has two months to accumulate accumulate value okay then it goes all the way to your very first payment and what about your very first payment sorry has 480 months to accumulate its value okay so once again you're going to use a geometric ser series okay your F value we already know your F value has to be 358 1710.84 okay and this has got to be equal to the geometric series of a into uh, 1 minus rm all over 1 minus r your a value is pb your r value is b and you put it into the calculator you get pb 1 minus b and m is going to be anybody m 480 plus 480 equally equal monthly installments okay so you put your 480 here 480 there guys and then all over 1 minus b put that all into the calculator and we're going to get 919.452 multiplied by p so that's basically this part here guys is the part you put into your calculator okay and as i said that there is 480 okay now you then divide your 358 358,000.84 you divide that by 919 and what you get is p equals 390.14 okay that's your monthly repayments okay in the last part of this question, what I then ask you is, if he waits 10 years before starting his pension, he's going to wait 10 years. He initially, in the last question, he had 480 equal repayments. He's going to wait 10 years under monthly repayments. So 12 months multiplied by 10 means he has 360 months remaining. Your series now becomes PB into 1 minus b 360 all over 1 minus b you still have to raise the same amount of money which is 358,710.84 all right and then you put it in and once again you put in this part here into the calculator and what you're going to get is 580 1403p equals your 358,710.84 divide it in and you find out that because you waited 10 extra years your monthly repayment has gone up to 618.32 so he will then have to pay 618.32 to get the same amount up